Welcome to Jess's Cooking Show. We are going to make falafel. And uh, the recipe will be up on my blog if you would like to see physical details. Otherwise, we are going to get started. And this is the cat's designated area. Yep. Uh, and then we have counter space over here where we actually cook food. So it is all not contaminated. But otherwise, the dog eats the cat food. All right. All right, so we're going to add some already drained wet chickpeas. Um, this is... Without water, it's 240 grams, otherwise it's uh, 400 grams. I'm gonna add two of those to start with. Technical difficulties. water as we go, which does make it more liquid uh, unlike your traditional falafel, but we, if you want you can add flour or um, um, breadcrumbs or both to make those balls of falafel. We're gonna make it super liquidy to um, add all of the herbs and spices so they get fully combined in. So we have coriander and parsley, about 40 grams of coriander and about, let's say 50, 60 grams of parsley. It needs very nicely put in. Nice and compact. It smells really nice at least. Well, yeah. Herbs and stuff. I'm just mushing it in fine. Mushy, mushy. Mush, mush. Mush, mush. There's some remaining spices within the um, thing. So we'll some spices, <sighs> herbs, spice variety. those down. And then we've got some spices to be added. We have paprika, lemon pepper, and salt, and all around or all spice or whatever that is called. All of which will be also, all of, it's all measured out. If you need the official recipe, you can check it out on my blog. It does exist. Yes, and it will be there. I'm gonna add more water. Currently I've added 0 0.300 milliliters as I add the remaining Two pans. <laughs> Two cans. Needs a little help here. going to add a little bit more water. This is so that when we add the falafel mixture here to the onions and the garlics, and we used five cloves of garlics and four normal red onions that are already diced and whatnot, and I found one of my hairs. 
Delicious. That is easier, so if you want to make it thicker, just add some flour. It's no problem. And of course, now you gotta do the official test. Which means I need my tasting spoon. Tastes good. We're gonna take this and add it to our giant bowl here of um, onion. There is garlic down there. We will be adding two cans of chickpeas that will not be blended through to add texture and all sorts of other goodiness. Not usually through falafel if you make uh, the balls. They're not always all mixed through so you get like a whole half chickpea or whatever. This helps add to that. So. Just mix. Once that's all mixed through, you can go ahead and open and drain your can of chickpeas. And add them to your mixture and mix it through. Oh, well, some liquid in there. That's fine. Yeah. We, yeah. It, we won't die. Because, you know, health and safety regulations. <laughs> yeah, we got some two strips on here. Can we just. I don't. Is that an onion? That's an onion. It's kind of slick, spunky looking onion. Well, my chopping ain't perfect. I am a home cook, not a professional. Okay. I'm gonna make it a mess. Chickpea down, chickpea down. It's fine. Five seconds. <laughs> Only applies to the floor. If it's on the table, it's good for all time. <laughs> yeah. So. We'll be adding this to plastic bags and adding it to our freezer of food as it stays good for probably a lot longer than it should. Yeah. Um, and then we will show you the finish uh, cooked version later when we when I cook dinner. Yeah. A good thing to note though is like a way to tell that it's starting to get a little old is if it starts tasting kind of citrusy. Yeah, the onion gets very citrusy for some yeah. reason. Can't tell you why, but that's how we usually tell. Yeah. <laughs> now we are going to cook the falafel like you would anything. You add butter uh, or coconut oil or whatever you would like to use. In this case, we are having corn with ours tonight. Just corn currently just de-thawing. And then I will be adding this in. stirring it around until it becomes the consistency I desire and then call it a day really and put it in a tortilla wrap with uh, it'll be this corn and then we'll also have some salsa and that'll be all our dinner and I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and the ingredients are down in the description and be sure to join us next week